Hello everyone, welcome to Toadstool House Art. I'm Adele, and I have something a bit different for you today. Um, so I am actually away this week, um, so there's no vlog, but instead I'm doing the very first drawing video on my channel. Um, so this is new. <laughs> so I actually uh, drew this um, quite a while ago, like at some point last year, um, and I recorded it all. Um, but this was back before I started my channel. This was back before I was Toadstool House Art. This is back before my business and everything. So I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Because at one point I really thought I was just going to have a drawing channel where I do, you know, drawing videos once a week or something like that. Um, but then I thought, well, I, sh I should keep the footage. And if I ever, you know, miss a vlog, um, I can put this in. <laughs> And I've literally only just remembered now. Like, I have missed vlogs because I've been busy, uh, which is terrible for the YouTube algorithm. But, and I had these sat, not doing anything. Ugh. So, anyway, yes, onto the art. So, this is, I'm doing a full sketchbook spread. Um, and at the time, I was really sort of getting into uh, sort of cottage core, And I was looking at, you know, all sorts of things to do with it. Uh, including like fashion and stuff and there were some really really nice photographs on uh, Pinterest so all these figures are sort of based um, on those models uh, with, with some sort of liberties taken um, and what I'm doing is I'm sort of practicing sheer fabric because a lot of these the dresses that are in the sort of cottage car style they're made out of uh, like chiffon which is kind of a bit see-through because it's it's so thin um, so what I've done is I'm painting all the flesh colors first before I put the dresses on so the one on the far left and the one on the far right they're the ones in the sheer dresses so the way I decided to do that was by painting all the skin first and then later on I'm gonna come back and add the dresses in over the top so that they <laughs> they don't look naked um but i was just wanted to relax and and paint something because i very rarely do a full page spread like this in one go so yeah there's all the skin um it's quite blotchy because what i'm doing is i'm really i'm sketching with the watercolor as much as i did with the pencil i'm just keeping things very very loose oh god yeah right i used to drink tea um, until I found out that's what was making me so ill, so I had to quit. Oh wow, that was months ago. This footage is old. <laughs> oh yeah, I've completely forgotten about that. So, um, yeah, if you are struggling with like fatigue and just feeling nauseous all the time, um, could be tea. So I switched to green tea and mint tea and have been fine ever since. Very weird. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going in with some blue... And I'm using basically various, well, not various shades. I'm keeping the same shades of color across the entire page. And that's to sort of keep it nice and cohesive. Because um, I'm, I'm struggling between keeping my work looking nice, but not being too precious with it. Because this is a sketchbook. It is meant to be messy. But like I say, I rarely ever do a full page spread. So a lot of my sketchbooks just look completely random like you will see bits of fan art of characters um, next to simple stuff next to scribbly sketches and sometimes I think that looks nice um, but I did I did really enjoy doing it this way <laughs> that background though <laughs> I just splodged on some colour because I really didn't know what to do but as you can see in this figure on the left I decided to paint in this pink dress over the top and um, I just I wanted to have all these ruffles at the bottom. I wanted the fabric to so you could see that it's like has a lot of folds in it. Uh, and this woman here, I decided to give her. She's got like an armful of sunflowers. Uh, they are probably the messiest sunflowers I have ever painted. Um, but that was the kind of the reason I was doing this because I, I just set up my camera, sat down at my desk, and just started painting. Oh yeah, she's got a parasol, but you could barely see it before. Um, and I did that in the same same colours as her dress as well. So I can't... That that might have been based off sort of like a Jane Austen era sort of look, that one. Um, but yeah, you see, I'm not, I'm not being precious with it at all. Like I am adding wet on wet. Like I'm not necessarily waiting for everything 
to dry. Um, so I, I ended up doing all of this in, in one sitting, which is actually quite rare for me. Usually I'll do a bit and then I'll go off while that dries and then I'll come back to it. Um, and I, I never do this much, uh, this big in one go. But I just, I really enjoyed it and I really need to get back into it. Like I say, I filmed this months ago and forgot about it and it's so nice though but I do I know I've got a couple more sketchbook spreads filled so um and I recorded them so if you like this style of video please like let me know and I, I will do more I have more but for now this is just kind of like the filler <laughs> the filler one um while I'm away but yeah I need to get back more into tr tr traditional wow more into traditional art because <laughs> i have been doing a lot of digital stuff recently which is nice i like it i love my ipad and procreate literally one of the best things i've ever spent money on uh, i think it's amazing <sighs> but it's like it it's not the same or at least the process isn't the same i've actually seen quite a few people who can create things artwork that look exactly like watercolor like i couldn't tell the difference but it's digital yeah i can't do that <laughs> uh, so you can see the pencil there like I'm, I'm not bothering to erase it or anything i just went in very light with pencil and then i'm going in um, right at the end here with pen so this is uh, i think that was a micron and i am being you know really loose with it nothing nothing is precious right that's that's what a sketchbook is for because if you practice and you keep it loose you can go a lot quicker and you can actually end up learning more in a short space of time you don't need to spend like an hour on one sketch for you to learn something it is sometimes better just to to pick things up and then move on quickly and then try it again it's sometimes just better to do five sketches instead of, you know, one that takes an hour and five that take, you know, ten minutes each. Um, so this line work, I'm just... <laughs> I'm, I'm holding the pen kind of loose in my hand. You can't really tell. Um, but I really enjoy just adding in all these outlines. Like these flowers, do they make sense? Not really. I actually don't even know what they are because they're squiggles. <laughs> they're little squiggly flowers. You know, they hmm, could be carnations. I'm not sure. But that's the thing. It, it doesn't matter. What I was really enjoying was the process of doing it. Um, wow, I think I just made myself nostalgic. <laughs> um, so, yeah, not keeping it. No, there's no preciousness here. Um, but I am adding sort of like defining edges, like the edge of the hair. I'm adding bits of detail into that. Otherwise, you, it is just the paint strokes, those blotchy pain strokes and the little wisps of pen make everything a lot finer and a lot more delicate so that's why I'm not going too hard with the pen um, sometimes I go over things twice even three times when I'm doing like a finished piece with my pen to really define the outline but that is not the point here the point is to keep it loose to keep it free because um, I don't you know it's nice to work that way for one but it does keep your drawings from looking stiff um, and it adds personality and I just kind of experimented like with the shading I used little lines to shade certain parts of it and I never do that <laughs> I never shade with pen um, and it's not perfect um, like here on the eyes I'm, I'm, <laughs> I always have struggled with eyes but I was just trying things out you know it doesn't it doesn't matter and I've been really trying to let go when it comes to my sketchbooks and just you know just go for it um so I'm kind of yeah I'm in two minds because I want the page to look pretty but I also want to just enjoy it but I also know like I need to practice so <laughs> so art like I don't know if anyone else has this but it is both the most relaxing thing and the most stressful thing to me uh, like these sunflowers they're probably the worst sunflowers I've ever drawn to be honest I've done watercolor sunflowers before and I was a lot more precise and a lot more careful but these these were a lot more fun 
to make and honestly to look at, you know. They're not, they might not be something you want on your bedroom wall, but they're fun. Like, really, really nice. So I think I am going to do um, more in this sketchbook. I, I would really love to have a full sort of watercolour sketchbook. Um, one, so I can practice sketching in watercolour, because that, that was a wild concept to me when I first heard about it. I kind of felt like you could only use watercolour for final pieces. And that's like obviously not true, especially since I use my watercolours even on final pieces to do that kind of blotchy style that I have. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I should know better. Um, so yeah, I'm just finishing up, like on this dress, um, I just wanted to be really careful and really delicate with this line work, uh, mainly focusing just on the edges, so defining the sort of folds on the edges but not drawing in every single fold because it is very easy to add too much drawing to a piece and then it becomes overworked and it's too much. Um, so I had to <laughs> I had to restrain myself because that is exactly what I do. I take things just a little too far with my artwork and um, yeah, I end up unhappy with it. But I'm actually quite pleased with this. Uh, and there it is. Um, it's <laughs> it's simple, but yeah, really, really had fun. And I would sort of encourage anyone else who is an artist to just like take a couple hours in the evening and just paint whatever it is you want. So that is it for this week. Normal vlogs will resume next week. Um, I might have a little bit of footage from my trip. I'm, I'm really not sure yet. Um, but yeah, if you like this style of video, please just comment and let me know. And I am like happy to do more of these. Watching this made me realize how much I miss doing this. Cause like I say, it has been a while. Um, but I do have some a backlog of videos like this. So yeah, those might be nice to do as well. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.